I love it when I'm wrong, but only when I'm wrong in the right way. So what I mean by that is I thought something was bad, it turned out to be really good. Like Doom, the movie Doom, that was a recent example. When I first saw trailers of that movie with that big ball dude coming out of the bath, like covered in black liquid, I was like, I'm out. I can't do it. But then I was forced to watch it and then it actually turned out to be a really good movie. The second one I think is even better. And the reason I'm saying all this is because when the Nike book once first was announced, I was kind of like, this doesn't really excite me. It looks pretty, eh. Nike basketball, I feel like, has been pretty boring the past few years. The Jar one was pretty nice, but it was such an exciting and out there and different player. I just thought they could have brought more. But when I finally got my first pair of the book ones in hand, oh, I think I was wrong. I really do. I'm excited to see more colorways of the book one. Nike book one hike. This shoe is dropping on April 6th for $150. I believe it is on the 6th anyway. I can't confirm. I haven't seen any like confirmed dates on sneakers. The same day, the Haven colorway is dropping. That is inspired by his dog Haven. And this one, the inspiration behind it is the hikes that he goes on with his dog. Out of the two, even though I do love black sneakers, I think this just looks really nice. I admit I was wrong about the book once. At first, I didn't really love it. I thought it was pretty boring. But then up close in hand, I just think it works really well either on the court as well as casually. There's not a lot of basketball shoes nowadays which can cross over between the two pretty seamlessly. A lot of Jordan brand shoes, some Kobe's I think can do that. But I think this one, this one works both ways. And there's a mix of materials on the upper sole. So on the toe box area, you'll see very buff down or that kind of dry type of suede. And it's made to have that crocodile texture that extends all the way around the eyelets as well as that little patch in the middle of the tongue that exists on the swoosh as well. And on the overlays, it's made to look like snake skin. And you see the same going up the tongue and around the heel counter. Now in the mid panel, it is canvas. Again, made to look like that kind of outdoorsy snake skin type of aesthetic. And then right above it, around the ankle collar, that is actually fur. I think that'll just get destroyed the more you play in this shoe, but this one is a tribute to his dog, Haven. Not sure I love the fur in a vacuum, but the materials on this specific shoe, it is very unique for a basketball shoe. Now the details on the book one, it is very cool. There's a couple of different references to his personal life. So number one, you see the tag on the tongue, and then on the inside of the tongue, you'll see the initials to his family. And then on the booty of the shoe, I don't like heel tabs in a vacuum. I just don't like them on shoes. But this heel tab has some storytelling to it as well. It's made to look like the spine of a book with the chapter one print on the back. And then the shape and aesthetic of the heel tab itself is to look like pages of a book. And then at the front, you'll see 96. That is Devin Booker's birth year. So even though I don't love heel tabs, I like the thought that goes into this. The ventilation on the shoe, it is decent. It's not like the best. You see some ventilation on the toe box area that open mesh on the tongue as well. And that's pretty much it. So it's not a lot of ventilation. So if you sweat a lot, maybe just keep that in mind. And this shoe comes with a full length Cushlon 2.0 foam with a TPU caging around the lateral side of the shoe just to keep the shoe a bit more contained. And it also has a zoom ear unit just on the heel. A pretty thick one actually at 14 millimeters thick. None on the forefoot. So plenty of shock and impact absorption there on the heel. But that means there's not as much like responsiveness in their forefoot area when you really want to explode. I probably would have preferred another zoom air unit on the forefoot area as well. And because you hear Cushlon, you might think it's more of like a cushy and softer feel, but because of the more old school type of midsole setup, it actually offers more of a stable and supportive type of feel. Slightly flatter to the ground and there's also a midfoot TPU shank plate, so added torsional rigidity there. So overall, the support of the shoe is really good. For casual use, just walking around, I think it's a pretty comfortable shoe as well. There's plenty of padding around the shoe. So around the ankle collar, it is super, super padded. Something that I'm not too used to. A lot of the shoes that I wear don't have as much padding around this area. And the traction of the shoe, it is a rubber outsole, herringbone traction, really good traction, like right off the bat. No kind of break in time needed. This is about as nice of traction as you would need for indoor play at least. I don't play outdoors anymore, so not going to comment on the traction for outdoors, 
But indoors, this is really good. It is pretty thick or like wide herringbone traction and it's pretty deep as well. So yeah, just absolutely no complaints there in terms of traction. Now the insole of this shoe, it is glued pretty tightly, so I don't want to rip it out and destroy it, but it does feel like just a pretty generic Ortholite insole, nothing too special there. And the barcode on the insole stands for his jersey number, the area codes of where he grew up, his high school, as well as the city of Phoenix. Now this shoe doesn't come with any extra laces, just these kind of greenish, grayish color laces out of the box, the official colors for the book ones. It is dark stucco and light silver. And I think this color just fits right in. It's kind of got this camouflage look to it. Maybe orange, just to kind of match that hint of orange that shows through on the outsole. But yeah, laces out of the box works well. In the box of the shoe, a slimmer or thinner Nike box. The Nike is embossed, so you can feel the layer. On the side, you'll see book, and then chapter one, as well as a signature. And in terms of sizing, I am a size 9.5 true to size. For this shoe, obviously it's the first time I've worn it. I still went true to size, even though I do have wide feet. I think it fits pretty well, pretty snug at first, but especially if you're playing in them, I personally prefer a very snug fit. It'll break in over time. It doesn't hurt my toes. So I think true to size works well, but because there's so much padding inside this shoe, it can feel slightly tight if you have wide feet and the toe box area does start to loosen up. I do recommend just sticking to it just really breaking it in. As for the weight of the shoe, I think it's a pretty light shoe. Honestly, every shoe I play in now seems very light. I grew up in the time when they were putting out LeBron 4s, but overall, very light shoe. Now, usually for shoes that I review, I give it a sole score, but I usually review like casual retro shoes. So I don't think the metrics really crosses over well and makes sense for a performance-driven shoe. So no sole score for the book ones. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I think Nike basketball for the past few years has kind of bored me. I grew up on Nike basketball or Jordan brand. I love like the 2K4s, 2K5s, even the 2K3s. Those are probably my favorite ever just because of the nostalgia. Hyperdunks were a huge shoe back in the day when it first released. Of course, you got the Kobe's. Everything about those shoes just really, really get me excited. Recently, they've come out with some decent signature shoes like the Sabrina ones, the Jar ones. I didn't really love Paul George's shoes or Giannis's shoes. And the book ones, I thought was going down the same route. But this colorway at least, it really has turned me into a fan. I think these work so well casually as well as on the court, which is pretty rare nowadays. Yeah, I couldn't be happier to be wrong. So that's it. Thanks for watching, Soul Inclined. Let me know what you think of the Nike Book One hike. Like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. And remember, tomorrow may never come, so wear your shoes.